So the mid-range smartphone category is hotting up, and one of the new contenders is this, boasting nice design, impressive battery at an affordable price. Hi, I'm M. Kwan, and in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the brand new Huawei Nova Y90. Starting off with this design, Huawei have chosen a more industrial and boxy look for the phone, in line with the look for 2022. You'll notice the chamfered edges on the polycarbonate frame, and it's available in a range of colors, including this striking emerald green color with this textured look. There's a side-mounted fingerprint scanner next to the volume rocker that works well and reliably, and there's also support for dual SIM, and check this, unusual to see a 3.5mm headphone jack on a smartphone in 2022, but it's here on the Nova Y90. Now on the back, you also have a clean look that seems familiar, that space frame camera design, as Huawei well call it, but more on the camera later on. Another thing they got right is the impressive 6.7 inch edgeless full view display, giving you an impressive 94% screen to body ratio. Yes, at this price point, it's not OLED, but it still does an incredibly good job with the FHD Plus and 90Hz refresh and consistent colors and vibrancy. Multimedia and gaming looks good on this, but you might need your headphones as that mono speaker is okay, but I just feel it lacks the punch. Now, before I talk about the performance, I have to say I've been incredibly impressed with one of the standout features, the battery life on this. It sports a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and the Nova Y90 does an excellent job keeping up with, you know, all day battery use, giving me solid eight hours plus of on-screen time. And then there's a 40 watt Huawei supercharge included in the box that also gives me up to 50% charge in just under 30 minutes. And Huawei have done all of this without damaging the overall battery health. Now, the Nova Y90 comes in either 6GB or, as I have here, an 8GB version paired with 128GB of storage. There's no 5G, so something to be aware of, but the Snapdragon 680 chip paired with the Adreno 610 makes this perform well for day-to-day -day use. So for gaming though, you'll be able to play comfortably, but you know, with lower frame rate. So I tried popular titles like Genshin Impact and Call of Duty, both at low to medium 30 frames, but just keep the expectations realistic for gaming. So software-wise, it's powered by the EMUI 12 with Huawei's own app gallery that's being constantly updated with popular apps. I was able to download apps like you know WhatsApp, Twitter, Snapchat, and others through the Huawei app gallery. Now, when it comes to the camera, the Nova Y90 features a 50 megapixel main camera that's paired with a 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth. It would have been nice to see an ultra wide or even a telephoto, but with what it does have, photos taken with the main are decent, as you can see from these different examples, giving you an idea of the colors, the contrast, etc. I mean, with support for AI snapshot too, you should be able to get some nice clear shots in daylight. Now, when it comes to low light, there is a super night mode, as you can tell from these examples. I mean, in low light, do expect some noise, especially with zoom. And I'm also including some macro and portrait shots using the additional two megapixel cameras. What do you guys think? Okay, so here's a test of video filmed on the Huawei Nova Y90. And this is currently being filmed in the standard. There's no ultra wide video to begin with. Uh, it will film in 1080p up to 30 frames per second. So there's no 4K video recording with this. One of the features here is that you can zoom in. Now you've got a quick zoom option here and it will zoom all the way into 8x. And that's back out at the main. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the quality, both of the video, but also the audio. Now, video with a front-facing camera is, again, limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second, but you can see it looks quite washed out, particularly when I pan around. Um, again, I think stabilization on the main camera video, at least, is better than the front-facing uh, selfie video. But one of the cool features on this device, particularly if you're a big fan of this kind of format, is the dual video. This allows you to film both in real time with the rear camera and the front facing selfie camera. This is gonna be great if you're gonna be vlogging or filming with context. So you're talking about what's happening in front of you. What is really cool is the fact that you can actually zoom in while you are filming at the same time in dual view, which is pretty cool as well. And there have been updates to software when it comes to video editing as well. So you've got a ton of different templates that you can create different formats in with one click. 
So that's the Huawei Nova Y90, available in this region, featuring a really impressive price with some gifts thrown in that make the deal sweeter. I'll post all the details in the description of this video for you to see exactly what you get. What do you think of the Nova Y90? Leave your comments below and check out this other video here.